Hello, in this video we'll look at how to do transformations on the TI Inspire CX family. Start by choosing number one, new document, and then choosing number two, add graphs. We will not need our entry line, so you can press escape to hide the entry line. Let's create a triangle in quadrant one. Press menu, select number eight, geometry, select number two, shapes. The second option is triangle, and in quadrant one, we will make triangle ABC. If your vertices do not have labels, you can go to menu, choose number nine, settings, and in the settings options, you can click automatically label points. Turn off the triangle tool by pressing escape. We want to rotate triangle ABC about the origin 90 degrees. To do that, press menu, choose number eight, geometry, and then select number five, transformation, and then number four, rotation. The tool is on in the upper left-hand corner. Click the object, then click the rotation point, and then click the rotation angle. The object is triangle ABC. Click on triangle ABC. The origin is the point that we are rotating about and then I move my cursor into quadrant 4 and type 90. When I press enter I see A prime, B prime, C prime the image of triangle ABC rotated about the origin 90 degrees. My tool is still on until I press escape. I can double click 90 and change it to whatever value I want and when I press enter it remaps the image. I'll change it back to 90. If I want to see the coordinates for my pre-image or image, I can go to Menu, choose number 1, Actions, and then choose number 8, Coordinates and Equations. When I hover A, B, or C, it will show me my coordinates, but it will not label them unless I press enter or click once and then I position it where I want and press enter or click again. This will help students learn the mapping rules to rotations. Let's start over. Let's go home, choose number one, new document. We will not save changes to the current document. Let's choose number two, add graphs. Press escape to turn off the entry line. Let's make a rectangle in quadrant one. Press menu, choose number eight, geometry, Choose number two, shapes. Choose number three, rectangle. Click once at the origin. Click again along the x-axis. And then as you move your cursor, you'll see your rectangle being formed. I clicked once more and made rectangle A, B, C, D. Press escape to turn off the rectangle tool. For translations, we'll go to menu, 
We'll choose number eight, geometry, number five, transformation, and then number three, translation. Again, upper left-hand corner, our tool directions pop up when you hover. Click the object, and then click the translation vector, which means I can click on rectangle ABCD, and then click to drop point E, and as I move away, and click again to drop point F, I can see my pre-image and image. Press escape to turn off the tool. Now grab point F, and as you move point F, you will see the pre-image and image for your translation.